μηχάνισμα ευθέτερων και εν μέρος της επίπεδας. Εκεί είναι το Rebel Hideout. Step aside, now! Seems like a good place for a hideout. <laughs> I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe you are Athena herself, dressed in a dirty disguise? Sure, I'm a god. You think it's wise to throw blades first and ask questions later? Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. 
Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. His house is on the coast, uh, north of Mykonos city. But he's heavily guarded. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Vilos was the heart of the Vilian League. Athens' pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Vilos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarkis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. If things are so miserable, why doesn't Vilos abandon the League? Podarkis sends Athenian soldiers to collect money from us all. The moment that stops, Athenian ships will burn our islands to the ground. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta too. Podarkis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! <sighs> you and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Did Sparta answer your call for help? A Polemarchos named Taletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos, not long before you. It's their camp we're headed to, isn't it? Taletas needs our help now, though he'd never admit it. Sounds Spartan, all right. Go now.
Ah, you fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan? Not Spartan, just deadly. <laughs> well, you fight and talk like one. What do they call you, warrior? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. Soldiers die. It's what they do. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face! That's a terrible plan! The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault! Not when there's only twelve of you! You think with your heart! That's what I like about you. But you're a general. To those men now, you need to think with your head. All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows. We didn't come here to hide. We came here to fight. And we will. But right now, we're outnumbered. We must be strategic. Cassandra, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Thaletas, don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, oh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. This is going to be a long rebellion. <clears throat> that one.
Cassandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Dillians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Podarkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life. Then why have you let him live this long? Let him live? Let him live? I've been trying to kill him since I was old enough to draw a bow, but that coward hides behind endless shields, and this is the closest I can get without people dying. This is why I sent for you. To help me get close enough to fire an arrow into Podarkis' black heart. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Vilos, find their stockpiles, and destroy them. <sighs> They'll keep a sharp watch here. I'm coming for you, Podarkis. Take another step, Mistios.
Kintos ruins. This is where I'll find Podarkis' weapons and supplies. Break their supplies, break their will. Vargas' troops will be helpless.
Soldiers' weapons. Don't mind if I do. Stop right there. I set sail soon. I want you with me when I do. Who knew rebellion was this much fun? That should do it. Kira will want to hear about this. A supply crate. Should destroy these without attracting attention.
Something's in the way. Get out! Out, damn you! Watch will be vigilant here.
Quiet! There'll be time for singing later! The commander's leaving the deck!
πέμπει στι ωραίε και φαλάσει, νόσου στέκει άλλη. Socrates, you just make friends wherever you go, don't you? Cassandra, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you to Thelos? I came here for the leader of the Thelos Islands. The people suffered under him for too long. And their suffering is worth his life? Well, Darkis is one of the people hunting my family, Socrates. His death is unavoidable. <sighs> Aren't all deaths ultimately unavoidable? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not getting sucked into one of these debates again. Yet right now, there's a situation I would love your opinion on. Fine. Soldiers captured the rep. He stole from the sanctuary to help finance a rebellion. When guards attempted to apprehend the man, he killed one of them. Murder on Delos? They're probably going to kill him. Indeed. Though it's illegal to end his life here, so... He awaits his fate to be transported to Mykonos. Where do I come in? Would you say this rebel deserves death? That killing him brings justice? Let me answer that by asking you this. What exactly is justice? A brilliant question. He stole, which is wrong. But it was for the freedom of his people, which is right. He killed a man. To save his own life. He broke a sacred law, one he knew honored the gods. So you're saying he can kill and steal, but stay in the earth and he should have his throat cut? I am saying nothing, but when we stray from the law, are we not like the animals? <laughs> you know my opinion on that. Can I go now? Of course, of course. There's just one more thing. Uh, there always is. The rebel is being held north of here in the Estiatorium. They're shipping him to Mykonos tomorrow. Wait, all this just to convince me to save the man? Convince, never. Though I am curious, now that you know where he's held and why, would you save him? I'm going to pay this rebel a visit. Sounds like we have a lot in common. I thought you might, though I have no drachmi to give, only knowledge. Which one should prefer, for it is perpetual, not transitory. Well, that's something, I think. You're bleeding. A lot. Come to turn me into the priests? Depends what you've done. Don't know if anyone told you, but it's illegal to die on this godforsaken island. So I've been told. Shame nobody told the beast roaming around. Vrach me to the one who kills it. You wouldn't be talking about the giant bear down by the beach, would you? 
You saw the beast, and you still live? That bear wasn't from this world. The vicious pet of some angry god. I sent him back to his owner. I don't know who you are, warrior. But take this. You've earned it. Now go. Let me bleed in peace. is there. I'll make offerings, thank you. Thank you, Mistyos. They were going to kill me, but you killed them first. There will be more. Hurry, follow me. I saw you. You loved spilling blood on sacred soil, just like me. I'm nothing like you. Now shut up and follow me before you get us killed. More Dillians will die if you don't shut up. Malaka!
You have a very loud mouth. You could have gotten us both killed. Then our sacrifice would set fire to the hearts of the rebels. Then cast every Nondelian into the sea for Poseidon to chew up and spit out. You realize I'm not Villian. The Spartans who fought and died for the rebellion are also not Villian. Athenians want these islands for our wealth. The Spartans want these islands for Sparta. I won't let them have it. We don't need them. We don't want them. Delians should rule Delos alone. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going straight to Kira. The rebels must leave their caves. The time to attack is now. I need you to move. Go, and don't come back. Every soldier on Delos will be looking for you. Let them find me. I already sent one to his grave. I'd love to send another. Another foreigner has spilled blood on sacred soil. Ah, Cassandra, seeing you on Thelos sets my heart at ease. So tell me, how was your encounter with the rebellious prisoner? You never told me he was an extremist lunatic. Ah, but who am I to judge? What is too much or too crazy? Are we not both at some point or another? He would have thrown you and your philosophies into the sea. <laughs> Perhaps when I was thinner, both in weight and philosophy. So, tell me, were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? The rebel had guards. I relieved them. Hmm, interesting. You thought the life of a thief and a murderer was worth more than that of soldiers doing their duty. I wasn't even thinking about him, to be honest. And what of the rebel? Should be on his way back to Mykonos, if he knows what's good for him. Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. It's a pleasure, Socrates. I can always count on you to give me a devastating headache. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, Cassandra. Hope to see you around the symposiums again. Don't hold your breath.
Okay, we'll see in the...
And? Is it done? Well, Arkis' guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So, what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is I have no idea. For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle to live, to love. Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Cassandra do once this is over? We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. And what exactly do we have in common? I know you've struggled to get where you are. You've had to fight and claw for everything you have. I know, because I've done the same. We're survivors. I'm glad the gods brought you to our source, Cassandra. Some time alone would be nice. You must have many tales. It's time we got going. When Poparkis learns of what happened on Dilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Dillians. Here. What's with all the whispering? Shh. If the soldiers hear us, they'll kill me. You're the Mystios working for Kira and the rebels, yes? Who's Kira? Yes! A smart question to ask yourself. But secrets are not secret forever, Mystios. I can tell you. If you know something, spit it out! If the soldiers see me, they'll kill me. Apollo knows they already tried. There's a house. Near the market, been boarded up for ages. Sneaky sneak your way in. We'll talk after. Strange. I should find the house, see what this beggar has to say. This woman was killed. Left in the open without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. Bloody footprints. A child's. Must have been hiding in that chest. A note was left behind. A warning from Podarkis. He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what?
wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M and the other K. Nothing else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. And what did the Mystios find? A body. A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both? Why kill a child unless... Oh, it was his? Shh! They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly, what else did you find? The dolls. Engraved with the letters K and M. M is for Mater. You asked who I worked for. The little doll with the K? The child was Kira. Yes, yes, which means? By the gods, Podarkis is Kira's pater. Very wise, Mistyos, very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you, never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. How do you know so much? I was there, Mistyos. I protected the little one. The Athenians were so busy trying to kill me, Kira slipped right past their blades. You were involved in this. My name was Otonia. I was a servant for Protarchus. What? Night after night, Kira's mother came to the house. Little one wanted to meet her pater. Podarkis made me send her away, but she kept coming. So Podarkis sent me to her house with a note. The warning. She didn't listen. Podarkis sent me back to her house, this time with Athenian soldiers. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who she works for. The rebels should know too. There's the doll. <sighs> if Podarkis hid that doll somewhere in his house, I'm going to find it. doll Kira made for him. She engraved it with a letter P for Pater. Could Kira have known all along? The rebels deserve the truth as well. But 
Blood is everything to some people. They could abandon her if they knew Podarkis was her father. The Athenians are weak. Now we strike Podarkis where he'll hurt most. His kidneys? <laughs> it's good to see you, Kira. Since you came here, I've actually started to believe we can win this rebellion. So, you were saying we strike. Guards protect the island's treasury in one location. If we find it and steal it, the soldiers go unpaid, unfed, and unarmed. Podarkis will finally be vulnerable. Then we can stick our blades in between his ribs, feed his liver to the dogs. Before we start feeding organs to animals, can you get me to the nation's purse? Our spies have located it in Miltiadis fort. I'll have Praxos gather the troops. It's best if it's just the two of us. Easier to sneak in and out undetected. You just want me all to yourself, don't you? Hm. Let's get going, then. Victory is close. I can feel it. We haven't won yet. The fort will be treacherous, and the gods can be fickle. It was the gods who sent you to me. I refuse to believe they'd send you here to die. So what do you think of our islands? I think I prefer Mykonos. They really don't like you shedding blood on Delos. Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Mistyos? 
Akira, there's something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. What I'm about to say is for you alone. Follow me. Now that you have me all alone, what is it you want to tell me? There is no other way to say this. Podarkis is your father. <laughs> what sort of joke is this? This isn't a joke. I will kill you where you stand! This can't be. Kira, I'm sorry. He took everything from me. How did you find this? I found your old house. I know about your mother. I can still hear her screams. A storm of blue armor and red blades tore through our home. I had to run through mother's blood to escape. I never returned to that place. It was best you didn't. It's good you told me in private. The men don't need to know this, not yet. But please, leave me for a while. I need to be alone. The priests are so terrified of desecrating the sacred grounds of Apollo. Women about to give birth are sipped over to Mykonos. What happens if they don't make it to show? Both the babies. Follow me. Hurry! Artemis of the wild land, mistress of animals.
Oh! 
Let's go. Careful not to get spotted. Guards everywhere. I need to be careful. This fort has seen better days. They should have spent some of that silver on upkeep.
Akira's going to want to see this. From me?
Cassandra, there you are. Good news, I hope. When the people of Dilos discover Podarkis lost every coin of their nation's treasure, they're going to rip him to pieces. You weakened Athens' grip over Dilos, exposed Podarkis, and made way for a Spartan alliance. I could kiss you. I don't see anything holding you back. <sighs> you breathed life into me. If only you'd arrived on Velos before Thaletas. I won't tell Thaletas if you don't. You're a bold one. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't tempting. You're the one who threatened to kiss me. Threaten? I don't threaten, Mistios. I act. We should probably move. They're going to come looking for us. I don't think I've ever really said thank you for coming here. You've given us hope. I'll go back to the hideout. But if you keep this up, Podarkis is as good as dead. I may finally know peace.
Many brothers were lost to the Afghans. Cassandra, I didn't think you'd come here after calling my plan a suicide mission. And miss your speech. Never. Athenians give speeches. Spartans give orders. If I was under your command, what would you order me to do? Same thing I order my men. Bruised, bloody, or broken. Never hold back. I never hold back. I can tell. I wasn't talking about fighting. I know. And I'm tempted. But... But I sailed here for Kira. She's the one I fight for. For now. Well, if you're going to win these islands for her, you'll need more soldiers. They'd never get here alive. The Athenian navy is too powerful, and our ship is at the bottom of the sea. Mine isn't. You'd confront them in open waters? Not sure if you're brave or just mad. The Adresti and I have faced greater challenges than a few Athenian ships. You fight like Achilles reborn. But even you couldn't defeat the entire navy. But if I sink enough ships, the Spartans can get through. There's something else. A helmet was left on board my ship. It was my butters. I'll sink the ships. But I'm not making any promises about the helmet. You've been here long enough. How many ships protect Delos? You'll never sink them all. We just need to punch a hole in their patrols. Enough to send them scrambling. So the helmet from your pater means a lot to you? It does. He prided from his butter on the battlefield of Thermopylae. The sea's a big place. Where did your ship sink, exactly? Somewhere off the northern coast of Mykonos. We could see Miltiadis' fort as we swam to shore. The sharks will have full bellies when I'm done. Eagle bearer, my sounds like a fight with us. I'd be honored to battle. Yeah! <laughs> 
There is no victory without eternal war. The cosmos guides me. Cosmos fights for Athens, and so Athens fights for Cosmos. lo hice. I'm looking for Kira. Not here. Gone hunting. Once you're with her, she said. I'm in. Where is she? Praying to the gods for a good hunt. The altar of Artemis, east from here, on the north bit of Tavern Point. Thanks.
Keen-eyed Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart that Cassandra doesn't scare off the animals with her heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be, how skilled are you with that bow? I don't need to pray to the gods to hit my targets. <laughs> They've been known to disguise themselves as animals. I just like to warn them I'm coming. Because I always hit my targets. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. We're not going to catch any by standing and chatting. Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far, how far we've come. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It is. Now show me how you use that bow. This was a great idea. I'm glad you invited me. I'm glad you accepted. <laughs> Artemis smiles on you. Tell Artemis I've got my eye on someone else. My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love Thaletas. Or at least I thought I did, until you arrived. 
the hand clears my mind to reflect on the words that passed between us. Is that a good thing? I know a spot down by the water. It's quiet. We'll be alone. What do you say? I'm all yours. There's no Ibexes here. The Ilians have suffered for so long. This is the first time I've felt happiness since the war began. You can bring that to your people. These islands deserve peace. So do you. And what about you? When this is all done, we could always use another set of capable hands. My journey isn't over yet. But I may settle down someday. You can do many things, Mistyos. But settle down, I'm not so sure. Another challenge? Stop looking to the future to be happy when true happiness is right in front of you. You... Finally get to the beach and find this giant bear had eaten this crew of smugglers. A bear? My Callisto, what did you do? Well, I killed it. What else could I do? It would have torn me to shreds. <laughs> I'm starting to think no one is safe from that spear of yours. And what of the woman? Oh, I spared her. She's probably halfway to Laconia by now. Why is it so easy to talk with you? Because we've lived similar lives, been through similar struggles, even though we grew up so far apart. I want you, Cassandra. Here, now, under the stars. I've wanted you since I laid eyes on you. Mykonos is definitely my favorite island. <laughs> and you're my favorite, Mistyos. Thaleta should know about this. He will, in time. For now, he needs to focus on the rebellion. So do we. But uh, first... Oh, 
Join me and my crew. You're a sailor at heart, just like me.
Better stay hidden. Stop there! Mykonos is a lot busier than Kefalonia. Marcos would... People are happy. As they should be! For the first time since Ares cursed us with war, the Delos Islands know freedom! But where's Kira? It's not like her to miss a chance to drink with her troops. She told me you kept her secret. I'm still shocked. Otharkis was a complicated man, but he was still her father. She snuck off to send him to the ferryman alone. All good warriors deserve their send-off, I suppose. Even Podarkis. Pray that we're shown the same kindness when our time comes. In the meantime, there is wine to be drunk and tales to be told. <laughs> Make the tale great. The troops deserve it. Even Thaletas. Certainly, if you can find him. And when you do, remind him, I still plan to tell him how I lost this eye. And the crew? Ready to sail? On your order! But first, let the crew enjoy a drink and a song. You deserve one too. Uh, 
Let us? What are you doing out here? Thinking. Praying. This was my time, Cassandra! What? This glory was supposed to be mine. But you took everything from me! You took Podarkis. You took these islands. You took Kira, my love! Be reasonable, Thaletas. I tried to be reasonable. I am not reasonable. I am... Spartan! Castor and Pollux! <laughs> 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 for the ferryman. Go now. 
into the river of black night and embrace the boundless gloom. You shall wander, obscure even in the house of Hades, flitting among the sad of the dead. I shouldn't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long. Now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, empty. He's gone, but you're still here. The people need you. If you don't protect them, there will be another Podarkis to come and take his place. You're right. They do need me. And I need them. We're rebels with nothing left to rebel against. They need me now more than ever. Thank you. What will you do next? Mykonos will need to rebuild. Then that's what we'll do. But don't put it back as it was, not as Pater wanted. We'll make this place a new home for our people to be free. To live good lives. Kira... He's gone. Your rebels are waiting. They're celebrating. <sighs> Let's celebrate with them. Thanks for being with me back there. I needed you. I wanted to be. You know that. Oh, did you hear? They're promoting Thaleta to general and sending him back to Sparta in the morning. Thaletas is dead. He attacked me on the beach because of us. He what? No! Why would he? Let us! You fool! You stubborn, bullheaded, glorious fool! And you just had to kill him, didn't you? He left me no choice. I sent out two notes. And who responds? Paletas the Spartan and Cassandra the Eagle Bearer. I never imagined you'd both bring me so much sorrow. Kira, I'm sorry. So am I, Mistios. So am I. Podarkis is dead because of you. We owe you that. You? After I killed the bear, I thought you were itching to get off the loss. Me too. But I met someone, and... Cassandra! You know Iola? She's... We're friends. But she told me she was leaving the islands. Well, I went to the fountain by the sanctuary to get my arm cleaned up. And I went to pray! That's when I saw her with my good left eye! And I saw your pretty face with my good right eye. <laughs> 
Like two stars aligning. Cute. The stink of roasting sacrifices, the sweaty bodies of pilgrims coming to pray. It was perfect. Love hits you hardest when you don't see it coming. It sounds like you're part of the family now. You've lost your crew and your ship. Why not join us on the Adrestia? I could use someone like you. You could use me. Well, a life of freedom, water at our feet, wind at our backs. What do you think, Varney? I say welcome aboard. Then it's settled. We set off soon. Be on deck when we do. You look ready to go. Odarkis is gone, Kira's with her rebels, and I have other targets to hit. Then we sail! But first, I may have told Kira you'd give a speech to the rebels before saying goodbye. Let's say goodbye. Charita! Settle down, settle down! Cassandra has something she'd like to say. You must build a new home, a fair home. One where cruel people like Podarkis can never rise to power. And now, a toast to Cassandra, to victory! What a speech! Though I think some of the rebels like fighting more than rebuilding. I think they liked it. Of course, of course! Who wouldn't? I'll round up the crew. See you back at the ship? Socrates, you looking to join our crew? I've just come to see you off. I sail on a merchant ship in the morning. May Poseidon calm the waves. Barnabas, is the Adrestia ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. Good. I only wish we weren't leaving Kira alone to rebuild her home. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly. Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? I said we came here to help people. That's what we set out to do, and that's precisely what you did. They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing. <laughs> Who calls me that? He does. Now then, it's time we give the crew some orders. Where do we sail to next? Podarkis was only one cultist, Varnavas. Wherever we sail, we will find more of them. And I will kill them all. <laughs>